Hey, Robin, he says that A-Rod's regimen included taking women's fertility drugs what? to supplement, yeah, women's fertility drugs. That's what he claimed. Why Omaha, Nebraska? Omaha! I'm watching the game sometimes, and I'm like, will you just run the play? Just stop. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Omaha. That... Apparently, it has something to do with the cadence and, yeah. and the play he wants to run, but I know what? We all hear it loud and clear. Peyton Manning, well, he wasn't on his game last night. That is for sure. Even the Denver Post couldn't hide his disappointment. The two sides have to show that the money is enough to cover the 4,500 players who have come forward and those who have not come forward yet, and that's thousands. I mean, we could be talking around 20,000 when all is said and done. Wes that, Walker's had a couple of concussions yes. in that weird face mask that he wears and now. And he wears this huge helmet. He's that kind helmet of a smaller huge. player, and it's bigger than him. Right, yep. that helmet is so huge, and that face mask is like square across his yeah. head because yeah. he's already had a couple concussions. More of a common season. sight, more and more. You have to see this unbelievable finish if you haven't already seen it. Don't tell me a slam dunk won an overtime basketball. Don't tell Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> Arkansas over Kentucky. Those guys can jump for joy. A play you may not see anytime soon. You know the burger with the Skittles? Well, sure. it now has a sidekick, Robin. Check out the... Dangerous mac and cheese hot dog. <laughs> that's going to be dangerous for somebody. Ache. And I don't know if it's for the person eating it. Dangerous. So two people on the same team now have food named after them. Dangerous and the beef burger. <laughs> I'll take the one with the Skittles. Right now, though, it's not looking good for A-Rod. It appears he's ready to take on the world. Now, the Players Union stood up for him, but he says they didn't protect him enough from all that information that kept getting leaked out. So, yeah, he's suing them and Major League Baseball. He makes that enormous salary, Roger Goodell. So why the heck is he sitting in the stands? Because he says that's the way he watches every game. Roger Goodell often calls himself the average NFL fan. Well, that's how you back it up. You got to really love football because the parties and the atmosphere, that won't account for how much loot you have to spend. Those with deep pockets, here's the deal. If you want to sit at the top of the stadium where the players look like little army ants, you're going to pay more than $2,800. I'm the best corner of the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're going to get. Everybody knows this guy, he's a great player, but he's an even bigger talker. So he rips off the uniform, he puts on the blazer, and he's still going in the post-game news conference. I'd like to also say something to the, the a-hole fans that write on Twitters and Facebooks and Instagrams and talk crap, because we appreciate the motivation. We appreciate it. You helped us win this game, so thank you very much. Thank you, Richard Sherman, for making our day delightful. Richard Sherman graduated from Stanford. He majored in communications. Go figure, huh? <laughs> I like it. All right, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Must stop eating modesty. We're fine. No, uh, nobody needs privacy. We don't need it. <laughs> Strangest story approaching the Winter Olympics. The men's toilet set up in a couple of the venues. Come here, come here. Look yeah, at this. I mean, you say two bowls, one roll, so you better get the inside position. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the toilet paper? Oh no! So how do you get it if you're on the outside? <laughs> you better have some teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. A Lutheran mass in Montana Sunday. Tim Christensen, he's the pastor. He's also a 49ers fan. Die hard. There is a football game starting in just a few moments. Would you all like to be forgiven for your sins? Yes. Okay, that's great. You are. Thanks be God. Yes, and I'm out of here. The service did go on. So the Robin. service itself went on, but his sermon was done. And normally his the sermon, sermon could be like 20 minutes to an hour. It depends on who your preacher is. He was like, I got to see the game. Got to see the game. <laughs> did he do that? Did he kiss his guns? He kissed his guns la, like Colin Kaepernick, yeah, the 49ers star quarterback. 49ers coach Jim Harbaugh. He's got some advice from his wife, Sarah, before Sunday's big game. Her advice, stop wearing those $8 Walmart khakis. She told a <laughs> San Francisco radio station. Yeah, they were daddy pants. The Nike and the Dickie makes a flat khaki, so... Happy wife, happy life. Did a reporter ask him about his attire? Yeah, and, and because that was a big story. I mean, so <laughs> he's going with the flat fronts. No more $8 Walmart khakis. So, you know, Robin, we know who wears the pants in that family. Everyone had to be thinking, it's not going to keep going like this. Then you realize 
One team is just so much better than the other team. Now, hard to base a game on the first play. But how does the ball go over Peyton Manning's head on the snap before he's ready? The safety, the fastest score in Super Bowl history. And as great as Peyton Manning is, where does that greatness go in the big game? Hmm. Two interceptions for Peyton Manning. Seahawks linebacker Malcolm Smith. We'll talk more about him later. Now, when Percy Harvin returned this second half kickoff for a touchdown to make it 29 0, all you heard was click, 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 click. TV sets going off. Night, 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 night. 43 to 8, the final score. Wow. Seahawks champs for the first time. Hard to believe it would be so lopsided. The other big surprise that came out of the Super Bowl, not just the way the Seahawks won, the MVP, that guy, Malcolm Smith. You know, he had that interception return for a touchdown. Normally, the MVP in the Super Bowl is a quarterback, a receiver, a running back. Well, this guy's a linebacker, and no one's really heard of him before this game. Malcolm Smith spoke with CNN's Rachel Nichols after his big performance. 